Hello everybody, how's it going? Um, today I'm just going to do a little video response and an EDC update. So, um, first off, the video response is to Sue, SP Silvgo, and she wanted to see our beater knives. So real quick, I'll show those. That would be the large and the small Sebenza. Nah, <laughs> I'm just playing with you guys. Uh, I would never really thrash on any blade. So, uh, the, the knives that I use for the dirtier jobs, for the most part, would be these. Uh, you know, I don't really thrash on anything, but, you know, if it's something like cutting zip ties, cutting through a, uh, you know, some real dirty, nasty stuff that can really tear up a blade, uh, you know, this is the stuff that I go to. So, Kershaw Half Ton right here, one of my favorite little beater knives. Uh, very good. Uh, great handler goes, great blade shape, very good for utilitarian tasks. And, uh, you know, very sharp, it holds an edge very long. Uh, one of my first knives, actually, is a Gerber Paraframe. I bought this as, it, well, technically it could be my first or second knife that I ever bought for myself. Uh, I bought this and a Wenger, uh, s some type of Swiss Army knife, actually, some number of years ago when I first started getting introduced into knives and I didn't really know what to buy so uh, I just bought this because it looked cool so uh, you know that'd be a beater uh, you know got the Spyderco Persistence here uh, you know great blade just a little bit cheap because you know some of the screws aren't exactly top quality uh, you know if I squeeze this back screw right here together it'll actually you know make the handle go together more I can't actually tighten the screw or really loosen it, it just keeps spinning. So, you know, it's kind of a bummer. And, and it's not the s other side spinning, it's it's like the threads and the screw. So, uh, you know, it's I can't expect too much from a $30 knife, but the fact that an $11 knife is a little bit better than it, eh, you know, it's kind of got me curious. And last, I got my Benchmade Mini Griptilian. Uh, you know, I played around with this knife a lot. You know, I did my little custom jimping, I guess. Uh, which I'm not really interested in anymore. I don't really hold knives in that grip because it's not very useful for normal cutting tasks. It's kind of... It's kind of negative with your wrist action. So, you know, you gotta hold it in a more utilitarian task. This is just my preference. So I, I usually hold my knives at, at a side angle. Most of my cutting tasks, but... Anyhow, the D2 blade is... Uh, you know, always razor sharp, uh, doesn't dull easily at all, and, uh, you know, it just holds a fantastic edge, great, great work knife. And, uh, real quick, I'm just going to show you my, I guess I'm going to call it my most day carry, since I am still am in school for a little while, and, uh, you know, I can't really carry knives on school grounds, so, uh, real quick, here's just going to be my little EDC update. So, uh, I made myself a new wallet, so new wallet design here if anybody's interested. Um, this is actually made with a little thinner leather than what I use on my standard uh, wallets. So, this one, still love it. It's got that main central compartment for your money. And, you know, a card slot on one side. I, I typically add other car or another card slot on the opposite side for customers that re request it. So, uh, this design actually features two pockets so one in the front and one in the back on both sides that is so one there and pull it off on camera and one there so very nice I'm really digging it uh, holding up great so far it was pretty dang stiff the first day but you know once I slipped cards in on each side and got it broken in within one or two days it's it's very good to get your cards in and out. So, I'm um, really liking that so far. And with my knives, as you guys know, I, I'm not a fan of using pocket clips anymore. Unless I'm in a real big hurry and, you know, if the knife, like my Chris Reeves, I, I leave the pocket clips on those. So these are really the only knives that get clipped to my pocket anymore. But that's just if I'm in a hurry. So, otherwise I always have these in a knife sheath. You know, so these are just my main blades that I carry most often. 
Got my Spider Codelica. Uh, and got the. What the heck is this called? Benchmade 940. <laughs> and last but not least, I got the. What's this called again? Spider Code Dragonfly. So, really loving that. Love the Dragonfly. I got a really nice edge on this. So, razor sharp, hair popping. And uh, real quick on the case here, I've been messing around with some Stingray skin. So this is just an experiment. This is nothing, nothing big. I'm not. I'm still playing around with it, but I went ahead and did a Stingray inlay on the front of it. It turned out okay. It's it's nothing spectacular, but it's it's pretty hard stuff to work with. I got a piece, a sample piece right here. It's very hard to cut. Uh, let me just pull out a little utility knife. Because of all the calcium bumps on the surface, those are all little calcium deposits. After a stingray is, you know, tanned and everything, all this stuff rises to the surface. So it's very, very strong stuff, but it's very hard, so it's very difficult to cut. I guess that cut pretty easily, but anyhow, very difficult to cut with, you know, normal scissors and hard to cut with to shape. So I got to use some big cutting shears when I do this. But anyhow, this stuff is extremely strong. You can't really break it with your hands. So, should make an excellent product, whatever I do decide to use it in. I'm actually thinking about doing, like, you know, some type of wallet. So, I guess you can get an image in your head there. So, I'm considering that. Not too sure. But I got plenty of the hides. They're just really expensive. So, uh, I took a little investment in went ahead and bought a few but anyhow nonetheless uh, cool stuff and uh, real quick this I carry every day this is my Meritac AAA flashlight and a USB drive attached to a little snake knot lanyard I believe that is I got a little <clears throat> thing that I attached here it's just basically a noose knot or Chris Reeve knot as some people like to call it and I fashioned it so it can slide up and down if I decide to put this on my wrist. So, just a cool little thing. And I clip this end to my belt loop, so in case this were to slide out of my pocket, it wouldn't be lost. So, that is basically it. You know, I got my cell phone and everything else. But, that's that's basically it. So, uh, you know, sorry this was so long, but this is just basically a little EDC update. And just showing off my beater knives. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching as always. If you guys aren't subscribed to Sue, SP Silvgo, please go check her out. Uh, great channel, great content. And if you are subscribed and you did happen to see that video, uh, go ahead and make your own video response if you do have a camera. And, you know, go ahead and share your beater knives. So, anyhow guys, thanks for watching. Have a good one.